so just now we have seen that if you have any equation something like this then if the power is 5 then it means that you can have at most 5 linearly independent vectors this is in general but what we want is that we want exactly 5 linearly independent vectors which means what we see should actually be there which means if we are seeing 5 then we should be having the 5 linearly independent vectors that's what we want which means we want am equal to gm are there any any type of special matrices that satisfy this property then let's just see okay so yeah this is one slide which is about the multiplicity so officially or uh, or just for the sake of completion i'm just having this slide where as i just told you that am is defined like number of times lambda is repeating which means this lambda minus 5 uh, power let's suppose 3 then am of 5 is equal to 3 right and number of linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda are called gm and am is always greater than or equal to gm or in general like you can also say gm is less than or equal to am okay so let's ask this question which is that what is the condition under which we all have n independent eigenvectors even with repeating eigenvalues so independent this is eigenvector okay eigenvectors so uh, this is not a normal vector so basically like we want n independent eigenvectors always even the values are repeating which means that see in general in general let's suppose th this is lambda minus 1 power 3 lambda minus uh, uh, 3 lambda minus 3 power 4 something like this in general there could be at least at least 7 and at most uh, sorry at least 2 and at most 7 uh, linearly dependent eigenvectors are there but there are some special type of matrices for that if you have or uh, like it doesn't matter whatever characteristic equation you have you will always be having n linearly independent eigenvectors which means here always exactly equal to 7 which means corresponding to lambda equal to 1 there are 3 corresponding to lambda equal to 3 there are 4 which means that am and gm both are equal so there are special type of matrices that i'm interested in so uh, are there are matrices which will always have n independent eigenvectors and independent eigenvectors even when one or more eigenvalues are repeating yes there are symmetric matrices okay so there are real symmetric matrices which means all the numbers are real so there are real symmetric matrices where do you have such property so for the real symmetric matrices there are two properties that has one is that all eigenvalues are real and all eigenvectors are orthogonal orthogonal means perpendicular to each other which means they are uh, i mean orthogonal are also linearly independent which means all 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 eigenvectors are perpendicular to each other orthogonal and and orthogonal are also linearly independent so basically if you have real symmetric matrix then you also have n real eigenvalues it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter if eigenvalues are repeating so for real real symmetric matrices matrices all eigenvectors are linearly independent all eigenvectors are linearly independent even if even if eigenvalues eigenvalues are repeating that's very important there is a concept called actually in machine learning there is a concept called diagonalization in diagonalization we need n linearly independent eigenvectors and diagonalization is very important very nice concept and on on top of that like many algorithms are, are based on so diagonalization is very important very nice concept and real symmetric matrices are always diagonalizable anyway like uh, that's one concept in machine learning you don't need to worry about it but here i'm saying that all eigenvectors are linearly independent and and now you you might ask that why we actually need all eigenvectors to be linearly independent then my answer is diagonalization like we need uh, matrices to be diagonal uh, to diagonalize in in many of the cases and in which cases and why and what that's not required for us so that like i'm just telling you that in many of the cases we want the matrices to be diagonalized and if the all the eigenvectors are linearly independent then those those kind of matrices are diagonalizable and that's why real symmetric matrices are always diagonalizable okay so there are two theorems which we have seen one is that if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are not equal then the corresponding eigenvectors are linearly independent second theorem is that for real symmetric matrices all eigenvectors are linearly independent right irrespective of uh, irrespective of uh, whether, whether the lambda 1 and lambda 2 are repeating or not so even those the uh, eigenvalues are repeating basically so proofs are not required for, for these two theorems. In fact, we have proved it. I think that's why easy proof. This is also having the easy proof, but we are not going to prove it. If you want, I can just put uh, the optional video for this. But your yeah, proofs are not required. You just need to uh, remember the uh, statement.
okay now uh, now let's just do some questions suppose suppose four real symmetric matrix we have one equation something like this okay we have lambda minus 1 power 3 lambda minus 5 power 7 lambda minus uh, let's suppose 11 power uh, power 1 Uh, simple okay which means it it is just a one power now here if i just ask you that how many number of number of linearly independent eigen vectors are there then there is no at least at most this is always exactly okay which means there are 11 there are 11 you just need to sum this up okay then answer is answer is 11 and if i ask you Corresponding to okay, corresponding to lambda equal to one, then you will say three. Corresponding to lambda equal to one, then you will say three. Corresponding to lambda equal to five, you will say seven. Corresponding to lambda equal to eleven, you will say one. Okay, so this is this is like that. So corresponding to lambda equal to one, there are three. Corresponding to five, there are seven. Corresponding to eleven, there are one. Okay, so I hope you understood. Now, if that is clear. then let's just move to the next question so see it is very very simple if there's a real symmetric matrix then my life is very easy which means that i do have always n linearly dependent eigen vectors okay so let's just do this question if number of free variables in this are 2 okay then what is the geometric multiplicity of lambda 1 geometric multiplicity means number of linearly independent eigen vectors so what do you think if i am having two free variables then how many linearly independent eigen vectors i have just think about it exactly at most just two right if i have two free variables then two two linearly independent eigen vectors there is nothing to th um, to think about it and similarly if they ask ask you what about the arithmetic multiplicity okay what about the arithmetic multiplicity which means that what is the power of this uh, this lambda one what is this power then at least two then you will say at least two right so here at least two now just see this they are not saying anything about the real symmetric matrix or something right so here the matrices need not to be symmetric we will see the examples of the symmetric matrix also but yeah in this case it is not symmetric but suppose this is symmetric then then instead of at least you will say exactly two I mean, uh, here the AM and GM are both are uh, exactly equal, right? Okay. Now let's just see this. H five cross five matrix rank of A. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that's very interesting. Now they are saying rank of this rank, not the rank of A, rank of this particular matrix, which is A minus lambda is two, which means what about the number of free variables? Number of free variables in A minus lambda one I is equal to how much? if this is 2 then there will be 3 then they are asking about the geometric multiplicity then it means that uh, there are number of linearly independent vectors number of linearly independent vectors corresponding corresponding to lambda equal to lambda 1 are 3 so geometric multiplicity is also 3 it is same as number of linearly independent vectors right independent actually uh eigen vectors right like let me write eigen vectors okay now let's just see this a matrix of this size has only two linearly independent eigen vectors then it must have repeated eigen values let's just see they are saying that it uh has only two linearly independent eigen vectors so if it has two linearly independent eigen vectors then can you tell me what are the possibilities of characteristic equation see let's just yeah it is very nice question so if it is having just two linearly independent eigen vectors now you tell me the possibilities of characteristic equation right now possible possible characteristic equations see the total power must be 5 so can we have this equation Where lambda one lambda minus lambda one power five can we have this because total must be five can we have this lambda one maybe it is two lambda minus lambda two maybe it is three right can we have this where I'm I'm having three I'm having three uh, lambdas which means that I'm having let's suppose C option lambda minus lambda one 
पावर एनी थिंग मे बी टू लेमडा माइनस लेमडा टू पावर टू लेमडा माइनस लेमडा थ्री पावर वन कैन वी हैव दिस कैन वी हैव फोर लेमडा माइनस लेमडा वन लेमडा माइनस लेमडा टू लेमडा माइनस लेमडा थ्री लेमडा माइनस लेमडा फोर एंड वन ऑफ दैम इज लेट सपोज हैविंग पावर टू ओके कैन वी हैव दिस सी इफ दे दे आर सेंग द टू लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट आइगन वैक्टर्स से हैव इन टोटल सो जस्ट एज्यूम दैट यू हैव दिस इन दिस केस एटलीस्ट फोर फोर यू विल बी हैविंग linearly dependent eigen vectors so that's why this is not possible right i mean you cannot have more than two uh, eigen values more than two distinct eigen values you cannot have so that's why neither this nor this can is this possible yes this is possible this is also possible right so a and b both are possible here right so you will say a is possible because maybe corresponding to just lambda 1 you have two linearly independent maybe corresponding to lambda 1 you have uh, you have one corresponding to lambda 2 you have one right that's why these two are possible okay and now what they have asked in this question that then the, it must have repeated eigen values yeah that's also interesting question since a is the possibility a is the possibility that is why just tell me what is the answer here you you can just let me know okay so just let me know in the comment or maybe i can write the answer i will write the answer later okay just let me know in the comment it is easy question uh, you can just let me know in the comment yeah so i think that is all i will answer uh, I, i will write the answer on the next page okay thank you so much yeah so actually uh, like we have not uh, given the importance to symmetric in in, uh, in all of these questions because if you have symmetric then actually questions become maybe easy reason being is that then uh, then you will say that okay uh, they uh, i mean uh, then you will say that whatever uh, you are seeing that is actually there in the linearly dependent eigen vectors so first of all this kind of scenario can not even possible with the symmetric because two linearly independent not possible it is always having n linearly independent in the symmetric which means five linearly dependent in the symmetric only okay so i hope you understood all of these questions easy questions only just to make sure that you you get these little little concepts right okay thank you so much